With the Ypsilon, designed by Momo, Lancia has an extroverted city roundabout on offer. The little Italian is easy to maneuver through narrow alleyways and is now a real looker too. Our car tester Matas Curat took a closer look at it. His first impression was quite good, though he would have preferred tauter steering. The steering can be made even softer by pressing the city button. But it does make a drive through the inner city more relaxed. The two-tone paint job gives the Ypsilon a sporty, elegant appearance. The radiator grille provides an optical accent. The body of the car is matte black above and red below. The Momo design is the secret of the sporty look. The rear has two chrome-plated fake exhaust pipes and gracefully swooping rear lights. Opinion on the Ypsilon's design varies. Montes reminds us that this is a compact, but the materials used and the optional extras make the car feel as if it were in a higher class of vehicle. Our tester is full of praise for Momo's designers and Lancia's builders. And then I have to say to the young and young people of Lancia really my love. That's what I like. The Ypsilon's interior is well styled too. The textile seats are comfortable and good looking. The GPS device is movable, and the instrument buttons are ergonomic. The Ypsilon also has a socket for an MP3 player. Up on the dashboard are instruments charmingly reminiscent of Lancia's long past days. But our tester doesn't like how the instruments are positioned. Mata says the controls here in the middle take some getting used to. A driver is used to having information on his speed, the engine's RPMs and the like right in front of him. The Ypsilon and some other cars shift these gauges to the center, but he doesn't have to like it. Matas takes the car onto a rural highway, where the Ypsilon performs well despite its soft steering. It's a lot of fun to drive on curvy country roads. The engine seems powerful and accelerates the Lancia rapidly, and the transmission is impressive too. The gear shift lever is located farther forward toward the dashboard, as in many transporters, because otherwise the path is so far to the floor where the switching rod is installed. The Lancia Ypsilon shift lever is almost on the level of the air conditioning. Matas thinks this isn't a bad idea. It's easily accessed and the shift path is short. If the transmission felt a little less clunky, it would be perfect. With its 1.3-liter multi-jet diesel engine, the Ypsilon consumes only 3.9 liters of fuel per 100 kilometers. Its top speed is 183 kilometers an hour. The generous outfitting of the Ypsilon S is reflected in the price. If you want to save money, you're better off with the gasoline model. And, in summary, Manta says a premium feel has its premium price. The Lancia Ypsilon costs at least 12,000 euros in Germany. The version he is driving today costs almost 17,000.